Welcome back to Celts are here. My name is Josh McCafferty. Celtic have started the season perfectly domestically, uh, winning five out of five games in the league. They're also through uh, to the quarterfinals of the Scottish League Cup. But it looks like this season they're really going to be tested on the European stage. And the Champions League begins uh, on Wednesday when the boys welcome Slovakian champions Slovan Bratislava uh, to Glasgow. To tell us a bit more about Wednesday evening's opponents, uh, we have elected to get the knowledge of a Slovakian journalist, Jan Yasenka. Jan, good morning to you. How are you doing? Hi, hello. Uh, it's all right uh, with me because uh, we don't have any good weather here in Slovakia. Uh, a lot of flood and rainy days, So, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm all right. So, uh, And thank you that uh, I can be part of uh, your podcast and video. Thank you very much for joining us. It's actually surprisingly sunny this morning in Glasgow, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if that's going to be the case uh, come Wednesday. Yeah. yeah, we have a proper Scottish weather here right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure. Uh, hopefully that doesn't stay the same uh, for you. We're going to be talking about Slovan Bratislava today for uh, Celtic fans to get to know them a bit more ahead of Wednesday's match. So first of all, Jan, I'm going to ask you, how does Slovan Bratislava set up tactically? What is their play style and what sort of formation do they play uh, in matches? Um, I would say that uh, when they play a, a, a quality, quality, qualitatively stronger team, which uh, Celtic, Celtic definitely is, uh, they, uh, they are um, very compact, not only in the back, uh, but uh, as a whole team. Also with... Uh, uh, with um, using their discipline and uh, waiting for the breaks, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it's certainly not a parked bus uh, or a, or a double decker uh, mm -hmm. or a huge deep block. But uh, yeah. Sloan can wait for the for the exact moment and uh, use their uh, creative players. They they can uh, certainly play um, offensive football offensively as well. Mm -hmm. That's, that's good. And what do you think their, their strengths are in terms of what they're really good at? Uh, as we can speak about their strengths, uh, I think, uh, I would say, uh, it's um, most probably like uh, about uh, a collective and team performance. Mm -hmm. uh, they are playing with um, a lot of confidence and uh, self-belief in their own mm -hmm. abilities and skills. So, uh, especially especially this year, mm -hmm. uh, they realized that they can uh, face much more stronger teams. So, uh, their their biggest strength, or uh, I would say, uh, a weapon, uh, mm -hmm. is uh, definitely Tigran Barsegian, who is mm -hmm. uh, in a fantastic form right now. Uh, he has already scored eight uh, goals and two assists this season. So, he's uh, really in a good shape. Also important is uh, for for Slovan is uh, Captain Vladimir Weiss, who is a little mm -hmm. bit emotional, but mm -hmm. uh, if he's in the right mood uh, and uh, keep uh, uh, himself focused, he's uh, also really important for the team. Uh, he can be uh, very beneficial for the whole team, uh, mm -hmm. but not uh, as a leader, uh, but also uh, with his uh, football qualities. Also. I will. I would mention also Marko Tolic, another uh, another important and creative uh, player, and especially Juraj Kutska, uh, the national team player who plays for Slovakia. Uh, he's really experienced, and uh, he sometimes uh, play plays uh, like like a tank. Uh, so uh, Slovan's midfield is on a, a really nice and a really good level. So I I think. The strength, the biggest strength of Slovan is their midfield and uh, their collective and team performance. That's, that's good. And I just wanted to ask about Vladimir Weiss, actually, because he used to play for Rangers, uh, obviously, for a season. He's Celtic's big rivals. Do you think he's looking forward to coming to face Celtic? Yeah, I definitely think that uh, he's uh, really, really excited about this game because... Um, uh, not not only because uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a Champions League, but also he's uh, really big and uh, um, maybe his best friend is uh, Philip Shebo, mm -hmm. who I think you know very well in uh, Glasgow, Philip Sebo. Mm -hmm. 
So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, Vlado and uh, Philip, they are really, really big fans, uh, mm -hmm. friends, and uh, 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 they were also together on a holiday during the national break, uh, national team break. So, so they are really. Uh, both of them are really excited about this game and for also for Vlado and uh, uh, Vlado is definitely looking looking forward to this game even more he's an uh, he's really as, as I said before he's a really emotional player mm -hmm. who can be crucial and important but he can be also uh, moody at, at times mm -hmm. so we will see but he's for sure for sure very very excited for this game. Mm -hmm. And just on back to Slovo and Bratislava as a team, are there any weaknesses uh, in their team that Celtic can look to take advantage of and exploit? Uh, I don't know uh, if I if I want to say uh, something about the weaknesses about Slovan. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Slovakian team. Yeah. But anyway, uh, hard to say uh, because uh, Slovan, Slovan um, is really good at... Um, that that they can they can really prepare and uh, motivate motivate themselves for such a uh, such of big games and uh, I guess uh, I guess the left side uh, of mm -hmm. uh, their play uh, gives uh, Slovan some some problems in in the play with uh, uh, as a, uh, with uh, Vladimir Weiss on the left side and maybe Sharani Zuberu who is coming coming back from the injury. Mm -hmm. uh, Vladimir Weiss doesn't make it back uh, sometimes uh, uh, to the def to the defense, so there can be some I don't know some hole that can uh, look uh, Celtic Glasgow can look on on this place. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, if he's not in that good that I mentioned before, then or or good shape, there's there's uh, the way where can uh, Celtic Celtic uh, benefit from it. Mm -hmm. uh, because the back line of Slovan is really good and experienced. Also, the midfield can do great work. Uh, and the striker, striker uh, David Strelitz, learned mostly in the national team how to work for the world team. So, in my opinion, it will depend on, uh, on, uh, on uh, details in this game. But, as I said before, uh, the left side could be something that uh, can uh, Celtic look up. And I just wanted to ask about Slovan Bratislava. They lost 5 0 to Zelina a few <laughs> weeks ago. That's, that's caught yeah. a lot of Celtic fans. Can you tell us what, what happened there? Was that a, a one off or just what was behind that? Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty easy because um, Slovan, Slovan is playing this year really in a really good form and uh, they are dominant and, and they have a lot of confidence. But um and also i would say that they are playing this year they their best football probably in uh recent years mm -hmm. so this 5-0 tells nothing because uh it came after their historic promotion to the champions league mm -hmm. so they had a uh, few days of uh i don't know free time so the the coach gave them uh, to have their uh, some celebrations, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, also the players, uh, also the players after the game of Gilina uh, with Gilina, they to they told mm -hmm. that uh, they couldn't couldn't switch back their heads and their minds back to the mm -hmm. uh, back to the league, and Gilina took advantage of that. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's uh, it it really doesn't say anything. And on Saturday, Slovan won on the pitch. Uh, of uh, their big rival Dunajska Streda, 2-1, so it just confirms that they are cool and uh, focused uh, enough. Yeah. Uh, how are Celtic viewed by Slovan Bratislava? Do you think they'll view as, as, as a big team or is it someone who they can perhaps get a win over? Uh, I don't know because uh, when I saw how, how Celtic is doing in the league, they have five games and five wins, uh, 14 goals. Uh, uh, so they are they are doing really really good, and um, they are, you know, they are the bigger bigger team. They are the favorites of the of this game. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm, 
the the the, the fans and everyone in Slovakia for uh, for them Celtic Glasgow is a, a big team but uh, and mm-hmm. with uh, a lot of uh, connections with uh, mm-hmm. also with Slovan not not with, not with Slovan only but uh, with the Slovakian football because uh, they are uh, as a, as a as a legendary team which uh, has the, the, this historic connection mm-hmm. uh, with true true uh, Lubomir Moravčík Uh, mm-hmm. Stan Varga and especially the coach uh, Josef Venklos, uh, uh, mm-hmm. Doctor Joe. Yeah, and mm-hmm. uh, yeah, and, and he's he's the coach. Uh, he was the coach uh, Josef Venklos, who uh, Vladimir Weiss, the coach of Slovan Bratislava, took uh, a lot of. So um, this is this is this is uh, and I I uh, also want to say that it's uh, that the, there is a really important thing that Vladimir mm-hmm. Weiss have mm-hmm. beaten Celtic 19, 19 years ago 5-0 mm-hmm. with Art Media Petržalka oh. and uh, yeah that that year he promoted with Petržalka to the Champions League uh, for mm-hmm. the for the first time with Art Media mm-hmm. Petržalka and mm-hmm. he done it also with Slovan Bratislava now he can also um, again play with Celtic Glasgow so uh, there are a lot of connection with uh, with Celtic but as, as i said before uh, slovan is looking forward uh, to to play celtic but uh, everyone everyone here in slovakia is aware who the bigger team is mm-hmm. yeah and just finally before we before we end slovan bratislava obviously i believe they haven't qualified for the champions league in a long time so just how big a match has this for them in terms of it's their first ever uh, in the champions league in a long long while uh it's it's their uh, first appearance in the champions mm-hmm. league so it's uh, in slovakia in bratislava it's a big thing uh but uh, not only for Slovan but for whole Slovakian football because this is not usual for us to attend the Champions League the, the main stage so mm-hmm. uh the, the last club that was uh, in the main phase of uh, Champions League was MSK, MSK Žilina 14 mm-hmm. years ago so it's a really really big event moreover uh, thanks uh, uh, to Slovan uh, because uh, uh thanks to slovan we will see in bratislava manchester city with all the the star players with pep guardiola also ac milan so uh everyone in slovakia is really really looking forward not only the champions league games in uh in bratislava but also uh for the games outside of bratislava And finally, Jan, have you got a, a score prediction for Wednesday's match and how do you think it's going to go? <laughs> uh, hard to say. Uh, mm-hmm. Celtic Glasgow is the, big, the bigger team and mm-hmm. they have a lot of, lot of quality. And uh, the main, main stage of Champions League is really, really something else like the playoffs or, mm-hmm. uh, you know, so... Um, and... I won't be guessing the score because I usually don't bet, but uh, <laughs> it will. I hope. I hope uh, it uh, could be a drama, and I hope uh, it with uh, that uh, Sloan will be still in the game after the after the uh, first half. So let's say let let's enjoy the football. Enjoy the football, certainly. Thank you very much, Jan, for taking the time to join us today, uh, and I hope you enjoy Wednesday's match as much as we certainly hope to. If you've enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts and leave your score predictions uh, in the comments below ahead of Wednesday's match. Once again, Jan, thank you very much for joining us. Okay, thank you for having me.